good morning, good afternoon and good evening, wherever you are in the world. If you're new here, my name is Kim. Welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to be stitching out this design here. There we go. Okay. And I'm hoping that this one here is going to be a bestseller. We never know. Right, let's get on with the job at hand, shall we? And I'll see you in a minute. Bye. So here we have PE Design. All right, now I'm going to go for a 200 by 200 hoop. Um, I am going to use my 8 by 9 Mighty Hoop. But this is more or less equivalent. Uh, I'm going to click OK. Now I've got a number 3 up, which is an applique 3. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to move that up here. I'm actually going to make it a little bit bigger. Then I'm going to come over here and I am going to import a design from this way. If I import from up here, then it's going to get rid of this here. Okay, so I have to go over to this piece here, this box here, and as you can see, it's on the import um, files. Now I'm going to go down to click on the files and it should bring this box here. And I'm going to find my design and I have chosen the unicorn here. All right, now I'm going to drag across the 5x7 design, pop that in there. And there we have the unicorn. Now I'm going to make that slightly bigger. So we have, I think that's going to look okay. Now I want to drag a name across. So uh, my names are in another folder. Um, and they're actually in, let's go right up here. They're in pictures. Save pictures, names. There we go. <clears throat> and then I'm going to find. Ariella, I think I'm going to go for that one there. That's, that might be a bit too big. Let's try that one there. There. Okay. And there we go. So that's how I'm going to have it. Yeah. Now I'm going to send that to my USB, which is up here, send and sew, and it should send it to the USB. Right, I've put all my stops and all my colours in, okay? It took a long time, so I didn't bother going through it all. Um, right, now then, so that's all ready to go. I'm going to get my shirt hooped up, and then we'll see what it's like on there. Right, I'm using one of my um, Katie Blanks shirts. These are available in my Etsy shop as well as my kimthane.com website. Please go and check them out. It's free UK postage and there is discount going on on the website at the moment, okay? Okay, so got the shirt ready. Now I'm going to be using my 8x9 Mighty Hoop and this is a... Um, it's a stabiliser hooper, okay? It helps you uh, hoop your stabiliser. Um, you can get these from ETC Supplies as well, just so you know. Um, I'll leave a link down below. So, all right, this here is a fusible cutaway, all right? So I'm gonna make sure the fused side is coming up so it sticks to the shirt once I press it or iron it. Okay, let's pop that like that. And then we're gonna get our shirt. And lay that down flat on there. You can iron it or press it first if you want to, but I feel there's no need. Okay, and we're going to pop that in there. The 8x9 is pretty good for these shirts, so. And I'm going to have it so that it is slightly down just by the neckline, okay? So there we go, right? Give it a little pull there, and there. There we go. There we go. All ready. Now, don't forget to take this out because I normally forget if you get one of these. You don't have to have one of these. Okay, there we go. There we go. I'm going to put that on the machine now. All right. Always make sure that the, the back of the neck is under, if you're using a multi needle, under there, out of the way. All right, and then pop that. In, make sure everything's in place. Make sure all these back knobs are tight. Okay. I'm going to do a quick scoot around to make sure the design is going to stay in within the hoop. It should do. Yeah. 
Yep, that's just on, it's just on the edge there. Okay, so we're ready to embroider, all right? So I'm going to press the embroidery. And now we're going to get our first um, placement stitch in, which is for the number three. Oh, so we'll press lock and unlock it. Going. Right, we're going to get some fabric ready. I'm going to be using some heat and bond light, okay? You can buy smaller um, smaller bits of this. You can have uh, the bolt and they do do smaller rolls as well. I've had this for quite some time now. This is the 75 yard roll. Um, right, yeah, let's just cut a piece of this off. This stuff here is ideal for appliques, for bonding the fabric to the shirt. All right, so cut a piece of fabric out. I really like this fabric. It's, um, it's like a polyester. Um, I do sell it in my Etsy shop if you're interested. I'm gonna pop that on there. I'm waiting for the heat press to heat up a minute. Once that's heated up, I shall adhere that to that, okay? I'm gonna pop that there a minute. I quite like, um, we're gonna put it on the number three. I want some of the pink to come in with it. So, um, let's have a look. I think I might cut that piece there. Okay. Get more pink in that one. Heat press that in a minute, and I'm going to get some more fabric ready. Well, I'm just looking through some of this stuff here. This stuff here, I use it's for bows, um, but you can use it for your appliques. And I quite like that. That I'm going to use on the horn and part of the mane. That's quite nice as well. But I'm going to heat and bond my fabric a minute. do with this then is I will peel the back of this off all right and it leaves the glue on there okay so then that can be then adhered to the um, shirt I'm gonna pop that on there and let's have it have it like that Take that off there and cut that out. All right, I'm going to cut the excess off. So it's not so much to cut out. All right, now we're just going to cut around. Yeah, taking your time. Okay, I've cut the horn out. So we're jogging. Okay, now we're gonna get the blue in. I 
I'm going to use some HTV vinyl for this bit, okay? With HTV vinyl, you always want to peel off the plastic. of this this has been heat and bonded as well so I'm gonna lay that on there now I'm gonna pop that back on the machine That's been cut out. Always make sure when you're putting your shirt back on that everything is in the right place. Make sure everything's nothing's hanging over. machine again Right, now I have done the uh, name in a darker pink and I've ch changed my mind. I actually want to do it in the light pink. So to do that, I've already changed the colour once already so I made a mistake here. I put the green in instead of the white for the ear but luckily I managed to swap that around although it won't show there. Now you go into this button here, okay? And you go down to number eight, click on reset, okay? And then click on my pink is on my number nine okay and then okay so now that is ready to go all right so then we can press on that one there 
and down there. And it should take it to the pink, the light pink. Yes, it has. Okay, so that's been applied. Um, I've heated it to the shirt. Out. Okay, and then we'll turn it back in the right way and let's have a look at our finished shirt. Almost looks much better when it's had a press. All done. I think that looks absolutely lovely. Look at that look. Isn't that beautiful? Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Stitching's perfect. These shirts are ideal for embroidery, okay? Um, like I said, they're in my uh, Etsy shop and my um, kimthane.com website. There's money off at the moment, um, but I won't be stocking them after these ones have gone, I'm afraid. I am so pleased how this turned out. Look at it. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's beautiful. Really love it. Now, I'm going to get on now and try and do this tutu.